Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Although you do not have to be fluent in accounting terminology to understand and use QuickBooks, it is necessary to have a basic understanding of some concepts prior to entering information into the program. The first concept that we'll discuss is the chart of accounts. A chart of accounts is a listing of all of the accounts that can be used by your company file. You can open your chart of accounts by selecting lists from the menu bar and then choosing the chart of accounts command. Your chart of accounts shows the names of the different accounts that are used by your company, the account type such as income, bank, or one of the many other account types, and also the current balance of the account. There is a column called attach which shows any attached documents associated with the account. The document management service that provides the ability to add attachments to accounts is a service you must purchase separately from QuickBooks. Next, let's examine the different general account types found within the chart of accounts and how they are organized. The chart of accounts has a default sorting method. Assets are shown at the top, followed by liabilities, and then equity. These accounts are also known collectively as the balance sheet accounts, and they are shown within the balance sheet report for your company. Following those accounts within the chart of accounts window are the income accounts, followed by the cost of goods and expense accounts. These accounts appear within the profit and loss report of your company. At the bottom of the chart of accounts are accounts for non-posting transactions like purchase orders and sales orders. Let's review the different account types within the chart of accounts. As mentioned before, at the top of the chart of accounts window you'll see the balance sheet accounts which appear on the balance sheet for your company file. These accounts show what you own, your assets, what you owe, your liabilities, and the difference, which would be your equity. Below those accounts you'll find the income and expense accounts, which track where money comes from and what it is spent on, respectively. Each of the balance sheet accounts has a register associated with it. Unlike the balance sheet accounts, the income and expense accounts each have a report that lists the transactions associated with the account. You can view either the register or the report by simply double clicking on the account within the chart of accounts. Now we will look at these types of accounts in more details in later chapter. But here is a general list of the different types of accounts and whether they appear in the balance sheet or the profit and loss statement within QuickBooks. First you have your assets. Assets are what you own and what other people owe to you. More specifically, the money that people owe to you is called your accounts receivable. Other assets may include checking account money, inventory, fixed assets like computers, and undeposited funds received from customers. Also note that when you set up your company file in QuickBooks, although checking, savings, and petty cash are all company assets, you set them up as bank type accounts within QuickBooks. The available types of accounts that are assets are bank, accounts receivable, fixed asset, other current asset, and other asset. Liabilities are what you owe to others. The unpaid bills that you have are specifically referred to as your accounts payable. A liability can be a loan, an unpaid bill, or taxes owed. Also note that when you set up your company file in QuickBooks, although credit cards are company liabilities, you will want to set them up as the credit card type account within QuickBooks. The available types of accounts that are liabilities are credit card, accounts payable, other current liability, and long-term liability. Equity is the difference between what you have, your assets, and what you owe, your liabilities. The basic formula for calculating equity is assets less liabilities equals equity. Equity can be seen as representing the health of your business. Equity can come from three different sources investor money,
current year profits or retained earnings, which are profits from past years that haven't been distributed to shareholders. The only available type of account for equity is the equity account type. In the profit and loss statement accounts, you have your income accounts, which are used to track the income generated by your company. You also have expense accounts, which are used to track where your company monies was spent. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.